Blondie's really interesting, you know. I feel like each character is kind of a pigment of Baby Doll's imagination that forms her as a whole. And uh, my character trait was fear, you know. My character does a lot of things out of fear, and usually when you're doing things out of fear, they're generally not the smartest. Um, and it does come back and, and bite her in the butt. Um, but at the same time, it's interesting because it is kind of like these different parallels, different sub-realities, and each one is, is a different part of each character. And in, in the action sequences, I go off and I get to be a complete badass and, and be the first one onto the battlefield and um, really take matters into my own hands. It was amazing because it was it was like Halloween, you know, there were no limits because it was a fantasy, it was all in the imagination. So there were an endless amount of possibilities and different ways that we could go with each thing. I mean, we had uh, hair and makeup tests where we would sit there for hours just playing with different hairstyles, playing with different makeup, different looks, and it was so theatrical, so the makeup artist really had a chance to truly enjoy the process and take it to the next level. And with the costumes, I mean, it, it was definitely a process. I went in several times for fittings after workouts, which was hysterical because I'd be coming from my workouts dripping sweat and then go in to Michael Wilkinson and put on these amazing, beautifully hand-sewn corsets. And um, it was just incredible because you would throw on these costumes and it... it transformed the way that I even carried myself, you know, and it kind of gave me a new found confidence that worked for the character. It's a dream. I mean, every actor, I think, is just striving to do bigger and better and different things and play different characters. And and with this, it wasn't just a different character. It was There was a physical aspect of, of training so hard and shooting these guns and doing these dance rehearsals and then also pushing ourselves mentally to a place that I haven't been to before, which I think was why the training was so key because... We were told this is what we have to do. There's no way getting around it. There's no cheating that, you know. You just got to do it. And um, I think that gave me a newfound freedom that I didn't have before. Yeah, definitely. I mean, our hours were very, very long. Um, so, I mean, we spent all day together, sometimes long nights together. Um, and it's just amazing when you're with these girls who you meet and you're stripped of all the niceties. You're stripped of, of cute clothes and doing lunch and all these things, and you're met in the most raw and animalistic form. And um, they cheered me on from day one, and we kept on raising the bar and, and, and bringing each other higher. And um, just working out with them, honestly, was one of the most memorable things. I mean, pushing ourselves further than we would ever thought was just an incredible bonding. It was rough in, in all the different aspects, but, I mean, that's what made it so much fun. Um, the, the training part was very physical, but at the same time, I think in the brothel, you know, there's some really, really heavy sequences um, that that were very, very present, and everybody was there, and um, it, was, it was tough at times, and I would go home and really feel the weight of the day in my heart, but uh, I had the girls to do it with, so it just made it that much better.